Oh, hey everyone. Lately, one of my buddies has been asking me, how do you put a DVD into an iPod? Well, first of all, it's not really that hard, and there's also many ways to do it. The way I'm doing it, you guys might think it's a hassle, but I'm going to show it to you guys who don't know how to do it. So this is my way to do it. Well, first of all, you need two programs, DVD Decryptor and Vidora iPod Converter. Now, this program can work for any iPod, but I specifically chose this program to be for my iPod Touch. I provide the link for both of these programs in my description later. So let's open up DVD Decryptor, which is already open. Once you open it, it will go up to the screen, and you need to pop in a DVD. So I popped in I Am Legend, and once you get that, you want to go to Mode. You can either go to File, but this is more of a hassle. But this is way more of a hassle. So I'm going to show you how to do it in uh, IFO because everything's organized for you for the perfect DVD files that you want. Once you press the, once you are, are ready with IFO, you can choose where you want it to be saved and ripped. And once you rip it, it's going to be a huge file. It's about, I say around five gigs. So I have a 250 gig hard drive. So I'm just going to press this. I'm going to choose which hard drive I choose and all that stuff. Which is boom, it's already there because I've already done it. And once you pick your destination, all you have to do is press this button. Well, I'm not going to press it because I already did it. But well, once you're ready, once it's all done, it's going to open up five different, uh, let's see, five different uh, parts of the video. See, video TS, see, five different parts. It splits up the video in five different parts. I know this might be a hassle for you because you don't want to, while you're watching the movie on your iPod, you want to you know, keep on switching all the time, but hey, it's the part, it's, it's just life, all right? All right, well, this is it. This is the big VOB file. So I'm going to load it up and show you guys how it's done. So as you can see, it's okay, bro. It's only, as you can see, it's done. 21 minutes, 53 seconds. Alright. So this is just the first part of the movie. Yeah, Warner Brothers. Yeah, this is I Am Legend. Okay. And basically, now you have five really, really large files which support .vob and .vob does not work for your iPod it does not work for any iPod but I'm going to convert it for MP4 so all you need is Vidora iPod Touch Converter which I'm going to load up down here and once you go down here there's a whole bunch of different things you can go to, there's ads, all this stuff, news about the new programs and stuff like that now what you want to go is over here DVD, video file, online video forget DVD, it doesn't work, it just sends you different links how to do it which I'm showing you right now online video such as YouTube and video files. What you want to do is click video files. Once video files, uh, you go to uh, convert new file. This loads up, cranks and grinds. This is normal mode. Don't go to normal mode. I always go to power mode. And once you go to power mode, it tells you file. Which file do you want to convert to MP4, which is the supporting file for the iPod? So select the file. This is I Legend, as you can see. Now I'm going to click the first one. VTS 101, the way I won, all that stuff. That's going to get the output directory. Where is it going to convert to? So it's going to convert to my C drive, which I do not want because I do not have any space. So I'm going to go click uh, blah blah blah, my computer, my hard drive, I am legend, I touch. Now I'm going to click, uh, you're going to go change this to uh, I am legend iPod version 1 because it's I am legend the iPod version the mp4 version part 1 since there are 5 parts most of the 5 parts are 25 minutes long but you know this is the way I do it and after that it's click start converting well I'm not going to click it because I already have it so I'm going to be what happens to the end result where is my computer okay end result after you're done converting it the program Vidor iPod Touch Converter actually compresses the video for you since that video file was actually one gig, it compressed it to like what twenty megabytes. Who knows? Let's see right now. So I touch. Okay, this is what I heard. I only compressed three of it right now because I'm lazy. And it's, it's only eighty megabytes. This can fit in your iPod easily. It converted from one gig to eighty megabytes. This is also good. this program also for video. Uh, compression just in case you know you have a really large video that you've finished on Premiere or something and you want to put on YouTube 
you can just compress it with this program and it'll make it to a smaller size which works and basically once this is done it will open up into mp4 version see dot four you can see it but it says dot mp4 and it's this is it it's pretty good quality and this is mp4 this can work for your ipod see look at that it's the same scene i showed you last time basically then you open up itunes and it's in your movies file already basically once you're done with this it will automatically open up itunes and it'll go to your movie section then you can just drag and drop into your ipod and basically that's it and you're done and there's actually another way how to uh... rip dvds and put them in your ipod which I learned from Mobile Phone 2003, which I give credit to, but his program didn't work for me. It's called Free DVD Ripper. It doesn't, you know, separate your movie into five different files, but you know, I've been trying to do it, and it doesn't work for me. It, it keeps giving me a failure message and an error message. So, but I'll provide the link if it works for you, and um, the link to his video, too, so you can watch it. All right, well, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching my video, and, uh, well, just ask me anything if you're stuck. All right, bye.